This is a kind of a late night stream for the uh, for the eastern the eastern people. East Coast frogs. Up, boom. <clears throat> 7 a.m. there. Sweet. So how are y'all, how have y'all been doing today? I personally just finished my, um, my Lethal Company video finally, that I was supposed to finish before I left for LA. You've been playing Pokemon all day? Terrible, these damn final exams. Damn, I forgot that it's final season for college students. That's crazy. I'll stay safe, though. Y'all stay safe, though. How am I doing? I'm doing... Yeah, all right, actually. Your whole family's sick, oh no. I hope they get better. I hope they get better and they recover quickly. I don't shopping for Christmas. I honestly should probably buy Christmas presents, but I don't have any family near me. So if I need, if I want to get Christmas presents, I gotta like ship it to them. I gotta ship it all the way. All the way across the country in order to get it to them. So I don't know how that's gonna work. <clears throat> Why does that be Christmas next week? Honestly, I don't know. Time's been flying. It's gonna be next year, very soon. Crazy. We only have how many weeks? Two weeks, actually, probably less than one. Like, yeah, just a little less than two weeks left of the year. It's crazy. Love my videos, been watching me ever since I started. Thanks. Welcome, Fatima. Thank you. 2024 is approaching. It really is. But at least I turned 23 in 2024. So. Out of the heat. I think 2023 is going to be a good year for me. Blah, 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 blah. I was in LA. It was very fun. I had to spend it with everyone, all my friends. It was a very fun couple of days. Honestly, it makes me want to move to LA eventually. It makes me want to move to LA, but LA is so expensive. I don't know if I'll ever be able to afford to like be there for like more than a year or two. Maybe one day, one day. I'll have to consider it. <clears throat> I 
All right. All right. Good night, Lumi Stars. Good night. Hello, Monarch Muffins. All right. Well, today we are going to be doing. Today we are going to be doing um, a little bit of Genshin. We have the. We have the. Uh, what was it? Wait, let me change my scene. We have this to do that I haven't done yet. I know it's probably like a very, I know it's a very small event, but I just want to get it done. There's only four hours left. And I was supposed to do it a long time ago. There's only a couple hours. There's not, well, there's only like one day left in this update. And then Navia comes, right? Say it's about 30 minutes. The fungus event is racist. Yeah, I saw a little bit of that. I'm gonna I I saw a little bit of that. It's uh that was that certainly is something. Don't know what they were thinking with writing that. But before we get into that, I do have an announcement to make. I do have a little announcement to make. So, if you've been in some of my streams in the past, you probably have heard me considering changing up my hair. So, ever since I got back from LA, I decided it was finally time to change my hair. So now, I took off all of it. I took it all off. So. So basically, I'm going to regrow it. I'm going to regrow all of it. Because I've been thinking about it for a while about regrowing my hair. Like, I like the locks, not gonna lie. I, li I love having locks as a hairstyle, but the hair that was on the top of my head was not it. I will not lie, it was not it. Cause I've had a high top for like five years. Like, okay, there are a couple of reasons why I hated my hair and why I wanted to chop it off so bad. One of them was because one, it was a high top. If you're if you're a guy and you get regular haircuts, you probably know about the high top. You know, leave cutting the cutting all the sides off all the time and then leaving the top of the hair to grow out. I had that for like five years, ever since I was in like high school. So I got a little tired of it after a while. You know, I want to grow out the sides. I want to grow out the sides in the back because, like, for the longest time, I the back of my head and the sides have just been like shaven off and bald all the time. And I wanna, I wanna be able to grow out some of my sides. And two, number two is I think I kind of messed up on my locks. Like they were, they were kind of fire for a while, but at the same time, there was definitely a lot wrong that that went wrong with it. And over time, I just realized that like it wasn't worth keeping the locks if I wasn't going to be satisfied with it all the time. Like, especially with the back of my hair. Let me see if I could find, like, a picture of the back of my head. Like, I didn't show... I didn't really like to show my hair all that often because I was a little bit insecure about it, not gonna lie. But... The back of my head was fucking crazy. Here, let me see if I could find, like, a screenshot. Of the back of my head. Bald. <laughs> bald. I, I am kind of bald. Okay, well, these pictures are kind of crazy, but... Alright. Um, okay, well, this is kind of embarrassing, but... These are the pictures of... Okay. This is like a day before I cut my hair. This is like the day before I cut my hair. So... Let me all right, 
There's me. It's a little washed out, but there's me. That's my phone profile. You know, that's how I look from the front. You guys have already seen it, probably. But then you look at my side. Look at the side of my fucking head. Look at the fucking side. My side profile was ass. That shit was not good. Cause like, you could definitely see, like especially, I think it was, I think it was this side. This side of my head had more, had less hair than my, than my left side. And it was very noticeable. Like you could see. This one, this side has way less. Fuck. It looks good. No, I don't think so. Like you could see, it has way less and it looks a little more patchy than this side. And then you get to the back. The back doesn't even, I mean, this picture doesn't make it, the back look that bad, honestly. But I, I don't like how it looked in the back. Because you could see like there are definitely... Some areas where locks were missing, where some where some pieces of my hair were just gone because of my fucking. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if my loctician had did like my parting wrong or anything, but that's basically how it ended up growing out. Like there was especially one area at the back of my head, like right around here, that basically had no lock there, and it looked like a huge fucking gap. So I was like, nah. Either I cut this off or I'm going to be wearing beanies for the rest of the time I have my hair. Asymmetrical hair? Yeah, it was basically asymmetrical. And then also my locks were like kind of skinnier than I wanted them. And I didn't have as many as I wanted. And you know, I mean, there were, there were a lot of reasons. I mean, some people might say it's ridiculous. Some people might say I'm overreacting. But like personally, personally, it was a long time coming because... I was feeling like cutting off my hair anyways, even when I had the locks. Like six months into, into having locks or even like having the afro, I wanted to cut it off and restart it because even then it was still asymmetrical. So here it is. Fucking bald headed ass. Yeah, I'm not really bald, but I cut it all the way down. Cause I wanted it, I want to grow it out evenly. I want to grow it out evenly. The goal for next year or for the next two years of my life is to get the perfect hair that I want. I want to make sure that my hair is good because my hair is like one of the more, one of the biggest things I'm insecure about. And I definitely want to make sure it looks good. Like I'm fine with, with my clothes. Like after <clears throat> over time, I've been more confident with like, you know, my fashion and stuff. And I've been okay with like, you know, how my face looks, but my hair, my hair is something that I've wanted to change for forever. So that's what I'm doing now. And that's what I've started. That's what I started just yesterday. Cut all my hair off and here I am. Let me, let's get a 360. A 360. Sides. Sides. This is the back. Back is kind of meh. Back is a little patchy. That's probably because of my fucking... That's probably because of my fucking locks. What hairstyle am I planning to get? I'm growing a low taper. I'm gonna grow an afro for a while. And then, and then after like maybe six, six months to a year. Depending on how I feel. And how long it gets. I'm gonna grow my locks again. The low taper. So, that's what I'm planning right now. But anyways, that was a long rant. But anyways. So yeah. Now I could fucking wear my head- Now I could wear my head out. My hair out. On stream, I don't have to wear hats. If you, I mean, you guys have probably noticed that I've been wearing beanies a lot in my- in my streams. I never used to take off my beanie. Diet Platinum Blonde? Maybe. 
I don't want to damage my hair though. I'll give it a while before I before I start dying it again. Cause I don't want to. Cause like you can even like there are some parts you can't see it with the lighting, but there are some parts on the top of my head that look like they're they're like gray or white because of the uh, the bleaching. So I might want to like give it a while before I start uh, dying it again. <clears throat> so this is the event, right? Okay, so where's the where's the dialogue that people were uh, saying was racist? So you do your event, thank you. I didn't think hosting an event in Fontaine would be this complicated. It took around 10 steps as compared to using a port Ormos. Is my preparations weren't sufficient? Don't beat yourself up about it. You and your fungi companions are special guests. Mason Guardian Oz rarely comes into contact with foreign fungi species, so proceeding with caution is, was necessary. It is only it is only normal that the observation and evaluation took quite a bit of time. Next, I shall be transferring commission to other guards. The rumored Golden Comet and Silver Companion are spotted. The guards will notify them and ask you to meet here. I hope your little fun your little fun guys fantastic fiesta goes smoothly. Have a great time in the Court of Fontaine. If anything, just call me. That won't be necessary anymore. They're already here. A golden comet and silver companion refer to these super zenith boss level forces. How do we suddenly become the topic of your conversation? What's with those strange names? You're the, you two are the same as ever. I see energetic spirited and a reassuring air about you. I believe we've met, we've met before, yes. Was it familiar, but did we know a lady like her? Based on your slightly tanned skin, you're not from around here. Oh yeah, that, that was the line that people... Um, said was a little weird. <clears throat> that was a line that people were saying was very weird. Honestly, I'm gonna give my two cents on it because I know some people might wanna know. There's definitely some people who I don't know. I mean, some people who don't care, but like, anyways. It's a little, I feel like the, this line or these lines that were in these events are definitely, cause I saw them on a Twitter post. And I saw what they were saying. And I definitely feel it is a little bit microaggressive. I'm not gonna lie, because what do you mean by judging by your slightly tan skin, you're not from around here? Cause like, what do you mean by that? Are like do 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 tan people do tan people not exist in Fontaine? I don't get it. Bob remembers now, this is kind of unbelievable, but are you, are you Hanya? Uh, the same Hanya who's been taking care of Bongo Head and the other fungi for us? Long time no see, Golden Comet, Silver Companion. Uh, you, you knew Alfred is gorgeous and you're so well-spoken now. Okay, now that's, that's a little weird. Your new looks, your new look, your new looks made you completely unrecognizable. You've changed so well too much, even the way you speak has changed. Is this some way of making your trip to Fontaine with your fun guys buddies special? Actually, the Court of Fontaine does not impose a dress code on its visitors. You'd be welcome warmly here, even if you were wearing a plain hunter's outfit. The way Miss Hania dresses is much more than just following a dress code. I say it's elegant, extremely elegant. Thank you so much. Your aff affirmation fills me with greater confidence. Anyway, I'm here in Fontaine to search for a reliable investors for the, fun guy, for the official fun guy tournament. I host a preview event to advertise the fun guys keep news and attract an audience in advance. In particular, how they dress. And they even gave you special training to improve the way you carry yourself. Isn't that the, isn't that the light novel who's the light novels who've been following you to gather material and helping you take care of fungi after being defeated by us? I wouldn't expect her to be so well versed in foreign etiquette. Was she that knowledgeable? How is it racist? You don't get it? It's a little bit microaggressive because it's kind of saying that those lines are basically kind of saying that uh, they're kind of implying that people from the desert in Sumeru aren't very well spoken. And it's just a little weird to say that to people, you know, like saying that to literally anyone is kind of weird in itself. Now imagine saying that to anyone that like, you know, obviously isn't from this, isn't from this nation. And also happens to be, you know, have a different complexion than, than other people. 
get easily tanned. You've been asked if you're from abroad in your own country. Yeah, basically that. Like you can't you can't ask people you can't tell people like you can't ask people you can't ask a dark skinned person or any slightly tanned person like oh are you from are you from so and so country like like imagine somebody going like imagine you go to a european country like france italy germany or whatever and somebody asks you oh are you from africa what no no the fuck excuse me huh like you can't you can't be asking people that that's very very weird very weird behavior and and calling and calling people like like not very well spoken uh calling like certain people not very well spoken if they're like not from their nation is is also very weird as well like fungi mechanicus you direct your fungi to defeat all mechanicus uh the game received a pretty good initial response but it was lacking in long-term potential so it quickly lost popularity such as soka combined elements from various documents and fiction to change the me mechanic eye into pieces that simulate uh, powerful opponents, which adds all manner of variables to the game. Soka is at the Steamburst office right now discussing the game's marketing plan. Paimon sorta gets it now, so the preview event Lil Fungi's Fantastic Fiesta is his tabletop game. Powerful opponents, do you, does that mean we'll be commanding Fungi pieces to clash with, the, with other creatures and that both sides can move? Sounds much more complicated now. That's a bar alley. <clears throat> the sponsorships, the sponsorship of the Fonta Project team, so uh, they've received the sponsorship of the Fonta Project team, so they got a Fonta sponsor. Even if something is left unfinished, I, Tarina, the most diligent member of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol, would never allow it to trouble you. Distinguished guest. Your Super Zenith boss level forces after all, and Miss Hania is important foreign merchants, so you can leave any odd jobs to ordinary guards. My apologies. <clears throat> You're very white, so so during summers you get very you get very brown, and some unknowledgeable people might ask. I mean, yeah, still, like it's just it's just very weird to ask. Like anyone, like the point still stands that you like even if you're not offended by it, it's still not a very you know normal thing to ask people like, oh, are you from this so and so country? Oh, you're definitely not from around here, based off of like what their skin color is. Yeah, so. Getting a bit carried away. As a newbie in the Special Patrol, I'm obligated to monitor foreign creatures, provide the highest levels of assistance to special guests, and resolve issues that are beyond the ability of ordinary guards. Fungal related events can be considerable and economic benefit to the Court of Fontaine that I would be considered to have accumulated experience that goes beyond combat and our captain would value me more. A piece of serious game. Anything linked to Fungi tends to help people forget their troubles and be happy. I happen to have a suggestion. So and I have tried Low Fungi's fantastic. Yes, there's several hundred times, but we represent only two types of players. Two of you have very unique personality experience, and Miss uh, Terania has the most is the most responsible person. So if the two of you play a few matches, you'll be able to discover many in-game limitations, and that will help with further improvements. All right. Thank you, Fire Knight Alice, for the seven months. Welcome back. <clears throat> We're all aware that you're inferior to you in all aspects, so please go easy on me. Good. All right, well, let's start it, shall we? <clears throat> it's giving people who look down on others who don't speak proper English, aka things like AV or, or speaking with an accent because English is their second language. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a better way of putting it. Hello, Pong. Or just, or use network keys to switch to the little fungi you are currently controlling. In addition, you can click, the, click all buttons to select uh, all little fungi at once. Press any spot on the field or an opponent to command the little fungi to move to that location or to start attacking that opponent. 
White markers can be used to confirm low flung guys' targets. Red lines, on the other hand, show you whom the powerful opponents are targeting. Use Marvelous Gels to instruct the, the low flung guy to unleash powerful skills. You will regain Marvelous Gels over time. Okay. So this is just, this is how it was like before, kind of, except that you can't really control them, like at all. Can't really control them at all besides like how they attack, I guess. Events like this worry you for Nuts Lawn. 2024 is going to be scary. I I have faith that they will not fuck up that bad. Actually, maybe that's putting a little bit too much faith. I have faith that they won't just mask off and do some weird shit. I definitely know they, they might mess up here and there. I definitely know that. Cause if they if they're doing all like this isn't even the first time that they've that they've made some like really weird comments about people's skin color in this game, and also made some very weird remarks about racism and all and all of that. So I don't, I'm definitely like I hate to say it, but I I really don't put it past them that they might end up fucking up in Natalan, but. I have a little bit of faith that they'll at least try to, you know, they'll at least try to contain themselves. But maybe that's putting a little bit too much faith into Hoyoverse. Please don't try to be humble. Buh. What's the pay like? I'm not very sure I remember the monthly salary of ordinary, ordinary guards used to be 300,000 more a few years ago. I guess it might have raised slightly by now. 300,000 more a month is pretty pretty big. Damn. That wouldn't even feed Paimon? Bruh. Greedy. We have the my The Myzone is an executive agency funded by tax money, so of course the pay wouldn't be that high. Plan on traveling around Tevat while helping people from all nations to resolve their problems and eliminate monsters. As a recipient of their kindness, I too hope that more shall be able to receive their help. Sowing the seeds for justice and peace throughout Tevat is indeed important than man is more important than merely managing or and maintaining order in Fontaine. Jesus, speak. All I can do is go a few more rounds with you and do my best to understand your way of thinking. Something important we can't forget. Do you do you want to know how Bongo Head is doing, right? Yeah, I want to see Bongo Head. Hey, look. Wait a minute. Which got mine right here. Look at my bongo head. Little oh, bongo head. Where did I put him? I'll keep him there. Be on the side. Bongo head. All right, now we get the full roster. God damn. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. <coughs> I forgot how this thing usually works. I forgot like all the combinations for this. Just brute force it. It's hard to fail, really. Yeah, it seems like kind of an easy event. Yeah. 
Like, you don't even have to move. You can literally just sit here, press press 2 or 3, occasionally press E, and, there, and then you're good. Like, I'm not even doing anything. Actually, what if I just sat here and occasionally pressed E? took one minute to do. Ooh, wait, they actually introduced bosses here. Okay, okay. Uh, all right. Well, you already know the deal. <laughs> you already know the deal. We're doing Hyper Bloom. Because why else? What other thing would you, would you do? Special combat skills when an alien is going to deal damage to the little fly guy in an area. A warning will appear on the field showing about the area is about to be attacked. The skill is going to be used against a special uh, against a specific little fungus. A small warning marker will appear above both little fungus and its portrait. Will I ever do another video where I have to fight all the bosses with only the starter characters? Yeah, I will. I'm just kind of waiting to see. Uh, I'm just kind of waiting for more and more bosses to be released. Nice. I don't even know what I did. Nice. These are the current stages and do the prerequisite quest. Can my traveler solo the narwhal? Maybe. I think it'd be- I think it'd take way too long. After a while, you and Pokemon arrive- arrive at the little fun guy's fantastic fiesta booth. Of his soft, bouncy, smooth, squishy fun guy. I want to keep playing. You are... Melusine. I'm Enghien. Uh, I think that's how you say it. Enghien? 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 I was in uh, Tarina's drum master before, and I was Tarina's drum master before she entered the special patrol. I'm nothing like her, you hear? Nothing. I'm not going to grovel before you just because you're super zenith boss level forces. Super arrogant Melusine used to be Tarina's drill master. Don't worry, Golden Comet Silver Companion. Miss Tarina received new orders not long ago and has returned to the special patrol's base. Before departing, she asked Miss Inhing to watch the event area in her place. She loved Little Fungi's Fantastic Fiesta, and we're always playing it. That's right. I love both the tabletop game and those round fungi in real life. They're soft, bouncy, smooth, and squishy, just like Tadalga. Are you no, you can't eat them. Don't eat the fungi. I just want to hold them and rub my face against them. And yeah, didn't mind when I pinched Kindle Joy. N K plus H Hien? N K N? Is that how you say it? That's the most you could do. We only we can hold Bongo Head. I want them both. Honey has said you're expert at the game. Hop around against me. Okay. Okay. Narwhal is easy. The hard part is finding the little shadow dude he ate. 
Yeah, I think the only thing about the, uh, the narwhal fight is like fighting the shadow dude and and needing like something to break the the orbs. Because if you can't break the orbs, it just takes fucking forever to do that boss. My plan to pull on for either of the two upcoming banners, especially A, she's really good. So I'm, I'm not sure I want to pass her up. <sighs> I've been considering maybe wishing on Navia's banner. However, I don't think I I don't think I am. There's not much hope because I'm still saving for Clarend. There is also another character that I'm that I'm hoping will come soon. I'm not gonna leak anything. But I'm saving for two characters right now, and I don't want to waste a lot of primo gems for them. But however, I do wanna wanna try uh the new four star. Chevrolet, I think is how you say it. Chevrolet. <laughs> yeah, I wanna try her. I wanna try her out, but Getting a four star on a new banner is like fucking impossible, so. So, I mean, I guess we'll see. But. You think she's gonna be a four star? If you think, if you're saying, if you're talking about who I think you're talking about, I don't think so. There's no way. When will Siege Wing be announced? I feel like Siege Wing's gonna be a late, uh, a late Fontaine character. That's what I'm. That's what I'm feeling right now. Siege Wing might be a very late Fontaine character, unfortunately. This event is very easily. This, this event is very easy. Yesterday, I graduated from university and it feels great Ooh. to complete a milestone achievement for myself. Nice. Very nice. Congrats on graduating. Thank you, Crimson Dale, for the 21 months. Welcome back. Congrats for graduating. Congrats on your degree. Now it's time to go to a job. Now it's time to go to work. Ow, ow. Okay, everyone's hurt. Ow, owie. I mean, it's kind of hurting right now. Everyone move, everyone move. Ow, ow, ow.
Oh, this shit hurts. Time to move again. Get him. Nice. Nice hair, thanks. Everyone move. Got it. That was a little challenging, but we lived. We lived. Why well, don't I put three on my team? I don't know. I just wanted to. If, you, if I do pass up A, then it would be nice for, for me to have a strong Electro character. Yeah, I, I am kind of considering getting A maybe because A is a really good meta character. And she would be really good for my Eula team. <laughs> so, maybe. So while you and Palmon arrive at Lil Fungi's fun fa Fantastic Fiesta booth. Twin stars of Brilliant Valor. Are you back for more of Lil Fungi's Fantastic Fiesta? Uh, Miss Ang... 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 Fuck. How do you say her name again? Inkien, I think it is. Inkien, receive orders to re to return to the Maison Guardianage. So I'll be playing against you for now. Back. I was pretty surprised. Was pretty surprised when we met Hania, but you've taken it to the next level. Your outfit is so. Well, you sure are enthusiastic. What? That's a good thing because I have a lot of work. I need to stay motivated. So I'll cut my problems down. Uh, one clean axe wing at a time. Uh, how are the advertisements coming along? Plans progressing steadily. No novel events like these attract a lot of attention, and the paper won't miss any promotion opportunities. We didn't get the most important page, but it's clear that the event's becoming more popular. We've seen an increase in ordinary citizens who wanted to give our game a try recently. Many have been talking about what's the best fungi team with which to round to a, to win a round quickly. I've also heard that many people have been looking to play against you two, so they can see how the experts play. Um, so many people in such hurry to lose. No, our strategy is very well. Found things a match between you and us will be a real test of technique. Okay. Face me. Still the best character in the game, and if you give her a signature, that's easy mode. Is it worth getting... Is it still... I don't even know. I wonder if her banner is even going to be worth wishing on. What What did they say Raiden's banner was going to have as well? Oh wait, is it Navia and Raiden? Oh, no, no, no. It's... No, it's Yoimiya and Raiden Shogun. No. Uh, uh, I don't know if I can. No. That weapon banner is just... No. Uh, did I just pronounce Yoemia? Yoemia? I don't know. Uh, I'll get started and then Honey will control powerful opponents against you. Face me. Alright, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Doing all this yapping. Let's go. Two great weapons, though. I would wish on it if, if the bow was good for Amber. 
Because I already have a 5 star bow for Amber that I use. Super conduct and overloaded. Maybe. Stay strong for Chlorine. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm trying my hardest. Everyone move around. I'm not facing the same character. Damage plus attack from the bow, right? I think. I don't remember. Still stuck with R1 Rust, so you'd really like to get the Yo Emiya bow. Oh my god, it's fucking <laughs> Tawamaru. Actually, no, it's not Tawamaru, it's a different dog. No, I'm excited for the Goat Girl then. I've never leveled her past one and I have her at C1. Yeah. And she's staying that way. And she will remain that way till the end of time. Sorry, not sorry. I have to move around with this one, right? It's best to move around. Eh. Owie. Ow, that hurts. Move! Okay, good. Holy shit, that hurt. I'm excited for Lantern right next month. Yeah. 
I want to see what they have in store for us this year. That was easy. Nice. Oh, I need to do this one within 150 seconds. Let me do the Boar King one again. Free five star. Oh yeah, that's right. I should probably react to the fucking uh to the Genshin. No, not the Genshin. The Star Rail live stream update. Or update live stream. Cause I wasn't here when it was when it was going live. I couldn't stream. She didn't, didn't win any awards, sadly. Yeah. That's true. Maybe one year when we win game of the game of the year. Actually, no, that'll never happen. That'll never happen. No, that is. I did do it in 150 seconds. It's fine. I did it. There you go. Have I done the current Star World event? No, I need to. That's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. I need to take advantage of this patch because this patch, um, this upcoming patch is going to be kind of a dead patch. I just said patch so many times. Yeah, this next update is going to be kind of a dead zone update. Because there's not really going to be any Archon quests. It's going to be mostly Navia story quest. There's not going to be much going on. So I'm probably just going to work on, you know, getting other stuff done as well. I think Genshin would deserve rewards. Genuine question. I think, I mean, I do think Genshin deserves rewards. For one, I think Genshin deserves, I think Genshin deserves at least some sort of recognition for its soundtrack, at least. Because its soundtrack is pretty impressive for a, for a mobile game. I'm not going to lie. Always been very good. And a shining point of the game. And then, I think the story has been improving, but it's nothing spectacular yet. It's nothing spectacular, so I, I don't know if there's anything else it should win in. Like, Genshin is still a- it, I think Genshin is a good game, personally. However, it's just not there yet. It's not there yet to compete with, you know- all the other games yet. It deserves nothing until the anime releases? Based, I fear. It certainly is a game. It is. 
And also, I think it being a gacha game holds it back a lot. If this, if they were to release the game as like a standalone and not and not like an actual gacha game, I think it actually probably would get some praise. But it being a gacha game already does it, already gets it a lot of negative points in the eyes of literally every gamer in the universe. So. Uh, there aren't enough stages. I need more. I was going to skip this dialogue just a tiny bit. Uh, excuse me. The Adventurer's Guild. Imagine ZZZ wins more rewards than Genshin. No, I doubt it. Everything I've heard about ZZZ so far is is at its mid. I've heard that Zenless is not very good at the moment. Did I do it? Another quest after that? Nope, I think I finished it. Wait. All right, cool. It's all talking from what you've seen from streams. Yeah, I think the funny the funny thing somebody pointed out was that a lot of ZZZ streams are basically just the fucking like snake game. That's it. Thought ZZZ was still in beta. It is. It's still in beta, and you know, it's it's still got a lot of things to work out. However, even in beta form, it's definitely, from what I've heard, it's still not very good as a beta. Cause you know, beta is supposed to get people hyped to play the game. Huh, too slow. Like even if it even if it still has like uh, things that need to be fixed, it's supposed to get people hyped to play the game for when it actually releases. But right now, all people, I mean. When was the last time you heard somebody talk about Zen the Zone Zero in the past two weeks? Am I excited for FF16 DLC? I am. I'm gonna definitely try that when it comes out. You know, Reverse 1999 is a pretty fun and interesting storyline, but like Genshin, it's a gotcha. Yeah, I did uh, Reverse 1999. Um, I did a sponsored stream for them earlier this month. I might play it again eventually, Quit following me. but I want to get other things out of the way first. Just do what I want. People only like it for the snake game. Yeah, if the only thing about the game that people are talking about is a literal mini game that's inside of it that doesn't even like include any gameplay aspects of the all of like the game itself, out like outside of it, like. Not, that's not that's not a good sign, you know. If people are talking about a fucking a fucking game, an old ass game like Snake Game, instead of like the actual gameplay inside of Zenless and the story itself too, you're cooked. You're cooked. I'm gonna play the current FF16 DLC. If I haven't, no, I haven't played it. I haven't even finished FF16 yet, which I really need to do. I say that literally every time I stream. I think, okay, I think this patch, this patch I'll probably play. I'll, I'll finish FF16 because I have time and I can do it. I can definitely do it. Did I enjoy the story of R1999? I, I'm going to be completely honest. I was a little lost while playing it because it threw... <laughs> Like, for the first chapter, it throws you in very quickly. Exactly. It throws you into the mix of things and throws in a lot of terminology at you. And it was a little confusing, but I've heard from uh, other people that I've played Verse 1999 that uh, it gets better. The story gets a lot better after the first chapter. The first chapters are a bit confusing, for sure. So maybe I'll keep playing it and see uh, how it goes.
Alright, well, I mean, I finished the thing, so... Now oh, what? Ooh, new relate. Cool. How many primos do I have? 30,000! Fire. I wonder how many I would- I wonder how many I'll have by the time Chlorine comes. If I didn't spend any Primo Gems, you think I'd, I'd get to like 50,000? I'd probably get like 50,000 by the time we get to Chlorine. Like... How many patches is that? Lantern right would probably help, for sure. Lantern right will definitely give some. Not a lot, but some. I don't know the one guy saving for the Cryo Archon. What have they been? <laughs> they haven't pulled on a single character at all yet. Kind of funny. Honestly, based. Based. That, that's commitment right there. That is straight up commitment. Alright, well, I've done my dailies. I've spent my resin. I don't want to do the abyss yet. Yeah, because the abyss just reset. Yeah, 14 days. I want to. You know what? I guess what we can do. What we can do is do something a little different. We're going to play Variety. And by Variety, I mean we're playing Minecraft. Because they set up a... Um, Atsu set up a server for us to play Minecraft again. 